Hey YouTube, this is Drew Hatton Tech here to show you how to install Minecraft mods on Ubuntu. So why do you want to do this? Well, maybe you've installed Minecraft on Ubuntu and you want to go beyond the core experience that Mojang offers. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So first thing you're going to want to do, if you haven't already, is you're going to want to install Minecraft Forge from this link, which I'll have in the description. So once you're there, you're going to pick the version of Minecraft that your mods are compatible with. So now for most people, you'd probably be fine with going with the latest version. However, I have mods for Minecraft 1.11.2, so I'll download the 1.11.2 version. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is select the installer. Not the Windows installer, not the Universal, just the installer. And you're gonna click on the recommended download. Okay, so now you're gonna wait as long as it wants you to wait, and then click skip, and then you're gonna save the file. So now I've already downloaded that file. I get it right here in my downloads folder. What you're gonna to wanna to do is I'm gonna right click, go to properties, permissions, and then check off allow executing file as a program. And then you're gonna double click on it, and then you're just gonna click okay. I'll go ahead and install Minecraft Forge. Okay, and once that's done, as you can see here, you got this new Forge installation right here. So now, it's all about finding Minecraft mods. So a great website for that is minecraftmods.com. I'll have that link in the description. And then you can just search for whatever Minecraft mods you want. Like now, I want an access control mod, so I'm going to type in access control. And I want this mod, which you can check which version it's compatible with, just by right here. If you grab the wrong version of Forge, no worries, you can just download the correct version of Forge. But anyway, you're going to click on more info. And then you're going to click download. Take you to the mods website, and you'll just the download link. And what you're going to want to do is save the file. And I've already downloaded the file. I've got it in my mods folder, which I'll explain in a second. So what you're going to want to do, once you download these mods, you're going to want to go check off show hidden files if it isn't already. And then you're going to go to your .minecraft folder, and then the mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder, you just create one. I'm pretty sure most of you don't have one. And then as you can see, I have two mods installed here. Now if you have mods fragmented across different versions of Minecraft, then only have the mods that are compatible with the version of Minecraft that you're playing in the mods folder. Otherwise, Forge will just say some mods are incompatible and it just won't let you play. And then once you get your mods installed, all you have to do is just launch it with the Forge version. And there you go, launch Minecraft with your mods. Now, just as a warning, there are a lot of servers out there that have rules as to what mods you can run, or that even have rules saying that you cannot run mods at all. So before running mods on a server, I encourage you to check the server's rules. Now I did mute the audio just to avoid running into copyright issues. Right? As you can see, if I open up my world that I'm working on, and if I go to my inventory, see here that I have extra blocks which are not part of Minecraft. And I have this up there at the top bar, which shows my coordinates, my frames per second, and I don't know what the one on the right is. There you go. That is how you install Minecraft mods on Ubuntu. So thanks for watching. If you liked this video, found it was helpful, hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment.